on 24 February 1991. A surface action group SAG, consisting of battleship USS Missouri, USS Jarrett, the British destroyer HMS Gloucester, frigate HMS London, and minesweepers HMS Catastock and USS Avenger, was in the northern Persian Gulf. The surface action group's main intention was to make Saddam Hussein believe an amphibious operation is about to be carried out, thereby keeping Iraqi army divisions in northern Kuwait, instead of reinforcing the divisions in southern Kuwait. At 12.5 a.m. on 25 February, USS Missouri started firing her 16-inch main guns at inland targets around al Shuaiba docks to make Iraqis believe an amphibious attack was imminent. At this point the SAG was about 14 nautical miles from the Iraqi observation points. They could clearly see the muzzle flashes of the 16-inch guns of USS Missouri over the horizon. And it was more than enough to calculate a rough bearing to pre-target a seersucker anti-ship missile. At 4.52 am, an A-6 intruder strike aircraft visually observed plumes of smokes as pair of seer suckers were launched from Alphintas. One of the seer suckers crashed into the sea, while the other managed to level off and fly towards its pre-targeted area. The pilot of the A-6 intruder transmitted an advance warning to the Central Naval Command but it never received by the SAG in time. The incoming seer sucker was first detected on radar aboard HMS Gloucester at 21 nautical miles range. Since this initial radar vectors were inside an air lane used by coalition aircraft returning to Saudi Arabia after bombing Iraq, the decision to classify the contact as hostile was quite challenging, and might have caused a friendly fire incident if it was made wrong. But HMS Gloucester classified the contact as an incoming anti-ship missile within a minute. Hence the contact was moving at Mark 0.89 and it didn't have a transponder. USS Missouri lookouts could visually spot the incoming Seer Sucker missile and successfully classified it as an incoming anti-ship missile. USS Missouri activated her jammers and launched chaff to confuse the Seer Sucker's guidance system and the battleship's phalanx CIWS, close-in weapon system, was switched to auto-engage mode from standby mode. In the meantime, HMS Gloucester initiated a hard turn to the port side to unmask her Sea Dart SAM system and fired two Sea Dart missiles after acquiring a radar lock onto the Seer Sucker. One of the two Sea Darts launched from HMS Gloucester intercepted the incoming Seer Sucker missile about four to seven nautical miles away from USS Missouri. This was the first time in history that a warship used a missile to shoot down another missile in real war. According to the tactical track aboard the HMS Gloucester, this Seer Sucker missile was not on a course of interception with any of the naval vessels at any point of its flight path before being destroyed. The closest ship to the Seer Sucker's flight path was the minesweeper HMS Catastock, according to some reports it has almost flown by HMS Catastock. According to the tactical track reports from HMS Gloucester, the Seer Sucker was flying on its own ignoring any of the naval targets. Even the huge battleship USS Missouri or the closest target to its flight path the minesweeper HMS Catastock. Even the chaff launched from USS Missouri did not affect the Seer Sucker's steady flight path. By the time the Seer Sucker was intercepted, it had already passed the astern of USS Missouri. According to the history listings of USS Jarrett and HMS London, the visual interception altitude of the Seer Sucker was between 375 to 1,000 feet. This confirms the Seer Sucker's seeker had failed to lock onto any target, or got confused by the chaff. Thus the seeker was possibly defective. The A6 intruder that observed Seer Suckers being launched, attacked the possible launcher positions with Mark 20 rock high cluster bombs. On the 25th of February, the USS Missouri returned to the same position to conduct naval bombardment on Iraqi ground targets. This time she was escorted by USS Jarrett, the destroyer HMS Exeter, and the minesweeper HMS Atherstone. On the late afternoon of the same day, 
HMS Atherstone reported HMS Exeter. A tall upward smoke plume sighted ashore. HMS Atherstone reported that launch plumes of an anti-ship missile had been observed. But this was in fact Iraqi forces setting fire to an oil well using dynamites. The battleship USS Missouri launched chaff as a countermeasure. USS Jarrett switched its phalanx CIWS to auto-engage mode. And this time she was moving a bit closer to the battleship Missouri. The chaff rocket launched from USS Missouri came down and exploded in between the battleship and USS Jarrett. USS Jarrett's phalanx CIWS immediately locked onto the chaff cloud, misidentifying it as a threat, and fired 220, 20 mm round burst. It also engaged the second chaff cloud, which was detonated almost above USS Jarrett. But this time an alert sailor aboard USS Jarrett shut off the phalanx CIWS system mid-burst. In this incident four individual 20mm rounds had hit USS Missouri. And no casualties had occurred according to US Navy's brief statement of the event. Released six and a half months after the desert storm.